Hello everyone, welcome to CodeAzard. Today we are diving deep into the world of voice cloning application. This application is powered by cutting edge bark text to speech model. Sometime in short it's called TTS model. This app is built on the robust hugging face framework. Our application leverages the Suno bark model to generate incredibly realistic audio from text input. We have also uh, crafted a user-friendly interface using IPython widget to ensuring a seamless experience for everyone. From tech enthusiasts to casual users, we will see all these things in, in this video. Please watch the demo video that put everything together. Now this video will, now I'm going to play. Uh, hello and uh, um in this video, uh, we'll be exploring an exciting open source tool for text-to-speech generation. Uh, we will explore voice cloning with Bark, uh, a powerful model that can transform text into lifelike speech with various voice options. Um, and so in today's digital age, um, the demand for high quality text to speech applications is uh, growing rapidly. Um, um, content creators, developers, and businesses often need to convert written text into natural sounding speech for various purposes. Uh, this is where voice cloning comes into play. Um, Bark with Voice Clone is a state-of-the-art text-to-speech model based on the Transformers library. Uh, it leverages advanced AI techniques uh, to generate human-like speech from text input. Um, the model offers multiple voice presets and even allows for the inclusion of non-speech sounds, making it versatile for various applications. And then when you're thinking about your rate uh, auto processor and auto model are used to load pre-trained models and processors uh, from the hugging face library. Um, auto processor helps in processing data like text or audio uh, before feeding it into a model and auto model loads a pre-trained model for tasks such as classification or translation. Uh, SIPE is a library used for uh, scientific and technical computing. Um, it includes functions for tasks like numerical operations and signal processing. Uh, IP widgets provides interactive widgets for Jupyter notebooks, allowing you to create and display elements like sliders, buttons, and text boxes. Um, display is used to show rich output um, like widgets or HTML um, in Jupyter Notebooks. And HTML allows you to render HTML content. Uh, WAV file from SciPy provides functions for reading and writing WAV audio files, uh, useful for audio processing tasks. Um, now we will load a pre-trained processor and um, model from the Suno Bark configuration. Um, the processor will handle input processing and the model will perform the desired task. And after that, we will move the model to the GPU if a GPU is available, which speeds up the computations uh, model.2. Uh, the model and processor are now ready to use with GPU acceleration. Uh, now we will looking into the uh, interface styling part. Uh, this, this interface leverages a custom color palette to create an engaging and user-friendly experience. Um, this palette features a range of vibrant hues including a background color, primary and secondary, an accent color, and text colors that provide excellent contrast. Um, these colors are then applied throughout the custom 
styles and layout defined in the script. Um, the header style, label style, widget style, and input style dictionaries specify the formatting for various UI elements, such as the header labels and input fields. Um, the custom CSS further enhances the visual appeal by applying styles to the body, widget labels, drop-down menus, and buttons. Uh, now we have a script that creates several uh, interactive components using Jupyter widgets. Um, these elements are text input that allows the user to enter text, including speech and non-speech elements. Uh, voice preset dropdown that uh, enables the user to select from a variety of voice options. Uh, output file name input, which lets the user specify the name of the generated audio file. Uh, Non-speech dropdown, which provides a selection of non-speech sounds, music, and speaker biases uh, that can be inserted into the text. And generate button, which triggers the audio generation process when clicked. Um, these elements are organized within a container. Um, we will look at an example. Uh, we will try a text which says, hello, my name is Serpy and, uh, and I like pizza. Um, but I also have other interests such as playing tic-tac-toe. Hello, my name is Serpy, and uh, and I like pizza. But I also have other interests, such as praying, tic-tac-toe. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you found this video helpful, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content uh, on cutting-edge tools and technologies. Um, until next time. Happy coding and voice cloning. I hope you enjoyed the video. Now let's explore the use cases of this technology or this model. Voice cloning technology has a wide range of applications across various industries. These are some common use cases I'm going to present you. The very first use cases or the very first industry is entertainment and the media. In entertainment and media, there's a different use cases we can use a text to a speech model. This TTS model or text to speech model or this Bark model. The first use case in entertainment and media is character voices, like creating unique voices for animated characters, video games and dubbing. And the second one is audiobooks. Producing audiobooks with a variety of voices to match different characters. Other use cases like voice over text, like generating voice over for commercials, documentary and others, other, and others media. One more uh, use cases of continuation of the, you know, entertainment and media is, you know, content creations. Producing content like podcasts, tutorials and educational materials with these clone voices. We can do very easily with voice cloning app. Now moving further, or the second industry is business and technology. In business and technology industry, we uh, these use cases can serve as a various purpose like customer service, accessibility, virtual assistance. You know, as you can see, there is lots of online chatbots available that has also have voicing capability, like creating more natural and engaging virtual assistant. One more use cases in this uh, business and technology is training and education, developing a personalized training materials with clone voices. Okay, so maybe from with the voice of your favorite tutors, you can create the uh, training and education materials. 
another industry is creative arts like uh, in creative arts there is uh, you know other useful use cases or many you know important use cases like music productions art project you know art projects experimental media so these are different thing in creative arts we can use or we can get the benefit from the voice cloning app in legal and forensic applications we can use you know fraud detections you know forensic analysis these things can be very helpful with the help of voice cloning you know or identifying fraudulent activity by analyzing voices you know now your days people are using lots of digital call or internet calls you know and they are you know copying the voices of many people and they try to fraud uh, customers similarly for analyzing recorded voices for evidence in legal cases this applications or this uh, technology is go is also going to be very helpful um, uh, so this was the fourth one and these are the common one fifth one that is called accessibility so the first one is text to speech so providing a more natural and expressive way to uh, expressive way for people with visual impaired to access information and the second one is accessibility like language learning obviously creating personalized you know language learning experience with clone voices so the same persons can you know uh, use clone voices and they can teach in the different languages okay so or maybe same similarly we can say language learning so this was the some use cases now let's talk about some pros and cons uh, for more if you want to learn about this models like pros and cons you can see in pros multiple voice options you know non speech sound in uh, integrations a uh, customizations biased so these are some uh, pros we can uh, use in this app cons is you know uh, resource intensive obviously this type of app it will take more you know uh, system resources latency there is little bit delay you know voice part so maybe you have to sync this voices with takes or maybe with your actual person talking time limitation so this was this was bark model was open source model so this is currently has some limitations but you can overcome these things so if you have a programming language so you can run this app in loop like there is current limit is 15 second or maybe more we can uh, I, i will share you the link you can Uh, check this model um, they, they, this model is continuously up, uh, updating so you know maybe later they will increase their time limitations okay now if you are interested for this project and want to dive deeper into the text to speech technology there is various open source models available or in particularly for this uh, app uh, we are cover in you know, a uh, bark model okay so if you want to build a project on this technology so we are offering personalized uh, tutorials consulting services and even collaborations if you are building some app development opportunity or maybe you are building some type of app for your your own product or as a business use cases finally so if you are interested so you can contact us to discuss your projects and explore how we can help or you bring your idea to the life if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials